Hello all and welcome back. In this video, we are going to compare RDS Multi-AZ DB instance deployment and RDS Multi-AZ DB cluster deployment. Amazon RDS offers a number of deployment choices to assist you in selecting the option that best suits your workload and can vary from single DB instance read replicas, multi-AZ DB deployments. RDS multi-AZ deployment provides high availability, durability and automatic failure support. RDS currently supports two kinds of multi-AZ deployments, multi-AZ DB instance deployment and multi-AZ DB cluster deployment. In terms of instances and availability zones, a single AZ instance creates a single DB instance in any specified AZ within the subnet group. The application reads and writes from the same instance. A multi-AZ DB instance deployment creates a primary and a standby instance in two different AZs. A multi-AZ DB cluster deployment creates a primary writer and two readable standby instances in three different AZs. In terms of replication mode, single AZ does not have any replication support. Multi-AZ DB instance deployment synchronously replicates the data from the primary DB instance to a standby instance in a different AZ. Multi-AZ DB cluster deployment semi-synchronously replicates data from the writer DB instance to both the reader DB instances using the DB engine's native replication capabilities. Semi-synchronous replication guarantees that if the primary crashes, all committed transactions have been transmitted to at least one readable standby instance. In terms of standby instance for accepting reads, multi-AZ DB instance deployment is more of a high availability solution and the standby instance does not support any requests. Whereas a multi-AZ DB cluster deployment provides readable standby instances to increase application read throughput. In terms of commit latency, Single AZ instance has the lowest commit latency as there is no replication. Multi-AZ DB instance deployment has a high commit latency as compared to the single AZ instance as the data needs to be synchronously replicated to the standby instance. Whereas a multi-AZ cluster deployment provides up to two-thirds faster commits as compared to a multi-AZ DB instance as it performs semi-synchronous replication. So actually, the multi-AZ DB cluster uses local SSDs and the data is then asynchronously replicated from the local SSD to the attached EBS volumes. Transactions are committed and applied on primary only after one of the standby instances acknowledges that the transaction is written to the standby's local SSD. In terms of automatic failover and failover time, single AZ instances do not support automatic failover and failure would result in data loss. You need to use snapshots and point-in-time recovery. You can configure RDS to take daily snapshot of the database which are stored durably in Amazon S3. It also regularly copies transaction logs to S3 up to five minutes intervals, providing point-in-time recovery when needed. Also note point-in-time recovery is not automatic in RDS. You must trigger it either manually or via a script as a part of an event. Alternatively, you can also create a read replica and promote the read replica to primary in case of a failure. 
So basically the RTO and RPO can actually vary from minutes to hours. Multi-AZ DB instance deployment performs an automatic failover to the standby instance. There is no data lost cause of the synchronous replication. The failover time can be up to 120 seconds based on the crash recovery. Multi-AZ DB cluster deployment performs an automatic failover to the reader DB instance in a different AZ. And the failover time can be up to 75 seconds depending upon the replica lag. In terms of limitations and supported engines, single AZ and multi-AZ DB instance deployments support all DB engines. Multi-AZ DB clusters only support MySQL and PostgreSQL DB engines. Multi-AZ DB cluster also do not support a lot of other features like IAM database and Kerberos authentication, cross-region automated backups, option groups, storage auto-scaling among others. In terms of cost, single AZ is the most cost-effective option. Multi-AZ DB instance deployment costs more than a single AZ as it maintains a single synchronous standby instance. Multi-AZ DB cluster would be an expensive option as it creates three instances. It also only supports specific instance classes that do not include burstable classes and does not support general purpose SSD volumes. So you need to use provisioned IOPS volumes only. In terms of use cases, single AZ deployments are suitable for non-critical dev test environments. Multi-AZ deployments are more suited for critical production-based environments requiring high availability, data redundancy, and scalability for read workloads. Multi-AZ DB cluster provides improved commit latency, fast failover, readable standby instances, and optimizations for application. So that's it for the RDS Multi-AZ DB deployments comparison, where we compared the Multi-AZ DB instance and cluster deployments. I hope you liked it. Thank you all. All right, that was it. Thank you for watching. You can check out my website and connect me on LinkedIn and Twitter. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. For any feedback, please leave a comment down below. To see more videos like this in the future, hit the subscribe button. Thank you.